Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Dizzy Pins Blog, and today I have the Gingerbread Houses Mystery Pin Boxes from Disney Parks. I'm gonna open up those today and show you guys a look at some other new pin releases. So yeah, pretty random video today. I really just wanted to open up these boxes and uh, take a closer look at these pins because I haven't seen them in person yet. And I also wanted to show you a look at the brand new Gingerbread Resort Display pin collection for this year, for 2021. And then I also wanted to show you guys the new uh, Muppets Puzzle Collection, the Character Connection pins, because I have almost every single one except for one. I'm missing one pin there. Oh, and I completed the annual pass holder quarterly pin collection for 2021. So we're going to take a closer look at that as well. But first, let's get right into the mystery pin boxes. These are the gingerbread houses. I picked mine up at Disney Parks here at Walt Disney World. I know they're available online as well. It's a limited release collection, and the retail price is $19.99 per box. You get two randomly selected pins. Let's see what we get here right off the rip. Our first one is the Up House. These are really nice. You got Doug on there. The balloons coming out the chimney. It is the Up Gingerbread House. There's one in here that I really want, and it's the Orange Bird pin. I'm hoping I get it. Our uh, second one here is, oh, Cinderella. It's Gus. There's a look at the Cinderella Castle Gingerbread with Gus. And these have a silver tone finish. There's a look at the back. Mickey Waffle print. It reads, limited release at the bottom. All right, box number two. I did get four boxes, so we have eight chances here to try to get Orange Bird. And this is a 12-pin collection. It's a big one. All right, our second box. This is a small one here. We have Dumbo. There is a look at the Dumbo Gingerbread House. All right, fourth pin. We have our first double. It's the Up House again. Bummer. All right, moving on to our third box. All right, our fifth pin is Beauty and the Beast. There is Chip featured on this gingerbread pin. All right, our sixth pin. Oh, another double here. We got Gus from Cinderella again. Bummer. All right, our final box. Please give me Orange Bird. I feel like it's going to be tough, but let's go. Oh, another double. We have Chip, Beauty and the Beast. Not good. Our final bag. Come on, Orange Bird. Nope. We have Pascal from Tangled. There's Rapunzel's Tower. Pascal there, featured at the bottom. That's a nice one. All right, so we got five uniques out of 12. Didn't get the one I want, but let's move on to the Gingerbread Resort Collection. All right, here's a look at the Gingerbread Display Collection for 2021. I have the Walt Disney World versions here. There's one I'm missing, and that's the Epcot one. But I really like the collection this year. I'm going to uh, show you guys a closer look at each one. I think this is my favorite one. It's the Walt Disney World Preview Center, which is brand new for 2021. They uh, didn't have this one in the past. I love it because it features Orange Bird, and it reads, Good Tidings We Bring. Love that pen. The backs on all these all are like a uh, metallic, and the quality is super nice. They are all hinge pins that represent... Disney postcards. Next up is the Wilderness Lodge pin, which uh, this one features Humphrey Bear. Time for Christmas. He's got a little candy cane there as well. Next we have Polynesian Resort. And here we have Moana. She is featured for Polynesian Resort and it reads, Share the Holiday Magic. Next is Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. And this year features Rapunzel. Merry Christmas to all, it reads. Next is Disney's Contemporary Resort. And this, of course, features Cinderella. 
And it reads, make it merry and bright. I love the uh, gingerbread style contemporary resort in the background. Next up is Beach Club. This one features Ariel from Little Mermaid. And it reads, it's that time of year. Next is Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. This one features Aurora. And it reads, bringing in the Mary. That's a fancy looking gingerbread house on that pin. And our last one is Boardwalk Resort. I'm keeping this one as well. This is probably my second favorite one. Features Mickey and Minnie and it reads, feels like home. I love the uh, Boardwalk entrance there as the gingerbread house. Okay, then last collection I want to show you guys that I was collecting here is the Muppets Character Connection pin set. Uh, this is my actually my first puzzle set that I am uh, collecting myself here. There are 10 pins, limited edition of 550 each, and then there are two chaser pins that are limited edition of just 250. Retail price is $20 per pin, and I have pretty much every single one here except for one. I even have two chasers. I am missing uh, Gonzo here with the, uh, the rooster, the chicken. But yeah, I got every single one. The chasers feature Miss Piggy and Kermit. This is uh, one of the chasers here with the rainbow in the background. That's an LE250. And then I think it's this Miss Piggy that is the other chaser. That one up there, I believe, is the regular one. But yeah, I love this collection. My favorite one is Rizzo there with a slice of pizza. I love that. And the animal is a nice one as well. So yeah, there's a look at the Muppets Character Connection pin set. All right, next up, I want to show you a look at the Walt Disney World Annual Pass Holder Series for 2021. This is a quarterly collection, which is now complete. So these feature floats from the Festival of Fantasy Parade, which uh, isn't currently operating right now. But uh, the first release was Maleficent Dragon. The second one was Ariel with Sebastian there in the front. Third one was Peter Pan, and the fourth one was uh, which recently came out uh, a couple weeks ago, is Mickey and Minnie. So all of these are hinge pins, which open up to reveal a uh, scene from inside Cinderella Castle, one of the, the uh, mosaics inside. And then on the front here, if you connect them together, you can see it does form Cinderella Castle. So I'm gonna take them off the backer cards and uh, put them all together here. And there's what it looks like with all of them together. This is my first time seeing it together like this, and it does look really good with the castle in the background. And then the uh, four various floats. Then if I open it up, then on the inside you have the mosaic tile from uh, when you walk through Cinderella Castle. It does look nice all together. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at the Gingerbread House's mystery pin unboxing, as well as a few other new releases from Disney Parks. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.